So earlier you guys were talking to me about um, the various exit strategies. There's actually four very profitable rent, uh, you know, exit strategies. And as an investor, you want to know what those are before you move into any type of uh, investment opportunity. Spiff up and sell, one of my favorite. So a lot of properties um, have the opportunity to add some value before. So a tenant buyer, say, defaults or walks away from the rent to own. For whatever reason, you decide that you're going to sell it. Well, if you add a little bit of lipstick to it, so if that area warrants marble countertops, put in $3,500 of countertops in the kitchen, you now have sold the property for 18 k over asking. So simple things like that are strategies that some investors have used, and I've seen them profit anywhere from eighteen dollars to $25,000 on a spiff up and sell approach. And that spiff up and sell component offsets any realty fees that are associated with having to liquidate that property. But you still walk away with the tenant buyer's initial down payment, you have a well-maintained property, and you have that benefit of mortgage pay down. You can re-rent to own it. So we're talking about a re-rent to own. So in that case, we will screen other tenant buyers for that property. In that scenario, we're back to that property first, people second. I don't love it. It doesn't always work. But if it's done properly, within six to eight weeks, we can generally find a home buyer that will suit that property. And they'll have the, the income level to support it. They'll have a down payment to support that property. And that's the kind of stuff we're looking for. And they'll have the mental commitment to want to succeed in a rent to own. So we can re-rent to own it. Another one is just to flat out put it up on the market and sell it. But you could also be renting it short term while you're putting it up on the market. So it's somebody's continuing to pay down that mortgage for you. So any of these combos work together as well. And of course, you can convert it into a buy, rent, hold. If you already have a portfolio and you don't mind tenants and toilets, the rent angle makes sense for a lot of people as well.